So, good morning vlog. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. I know I am. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I still wanted to get out of the house. I just recently started school this week, which is really exciting, but I am drained and I'm really tired. But I just thought we could hang out, talk a little bit about it, and just enjoy being out in nature. So that's the plan for today. Also, we're mic'd up today, so I hope the sound quality is okay. Okay, so let's talk about school. My first day, I was absolutely terrified going into it. I was nervous and just anxious about all of it, but at the same time, I was super excited because I am such a social person and I knew that I needed to get out of the house and meet some people. So I was excited about all of that. And let's just say first day going into it, everyone was so nice, so welcoming, and I just felt really at home. But yeah, the actual courses themselves that I'm taking, I have a feeling are gonna be a little bit of a struggle just due to the fact of I did go to an American public school before moving here, and I've never been the most school-driven person. I've always been ready to get out of high school the second I started it and just start my life. But, I mean, everyone needs to go to school, so the classes are going to be a challenge. I know that 100%, but I also know that I'm going to try my very best and put in as much effort as possible into it. So I have met some kids that I really like, and that was super exciting for me because back home, my friend group was like tight-knit core and I just love those kids so much back home and I was like no one is going to ever be able to replace my friend group back home and no one ever will I love my friends back home there's always going to be something nostalgic about the people that you met from your hometown at least for me but I've also always known I'm not going to be in my hometown my whole life because that's just not how I want to live my life and I want to be able to have friends everywhere in the world. I want to be able to go to somewhere new and be able to ask someone, hey, can I sleep on your couch? I'm here for the night. Just stuff like that. And I've met some really cool people, so I'm excited about that. I have a very strong personality. And one thing I've always known is I know who I am. I know myself very well, I would say. And the one thing I was a little surprised by when I first started school was that I wasn't I was very talkative when I met kids obviously because I'm talkative with everyone when I meet a person I want to know every single little thing about you I want to know your backstory and just know you I want to I don't know I'm just a very like I like to hear people's stories I've always been that way I've always loved n knowing everything about a human being um, I always, when I was younger, found myself sitting with the adults at the table and just listening to them talk. So, and that's always been something I've really loved. I've always loved just sitting and listening to older people's conversations and really taking it all in. I just want to say, I have been telling myself I was going to make a YouTube channel since I was like 10 or 11. And I've always known I was going to do it. And I did do it one time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna walk back to my channel. And today, when I was about 13 or something, I think I was around 13 and I did it and I had fun, you know, making cute little videos. But I've never had this in a way. And I just wanna say how extremely grateful I am to anyone that is watching these videos. I don't care if it's one person or a thousand people. Just knowing that one person is watching this and liking it is such a success for me because that's just telling me that I'm putting out something in the world that I'm not only proud of, but other people are enjoying too. And that's just really what I wanna do. I love creating and I wanna be able to create something that I'm passionate about and that other people can sit and watch and enjoy for themselves. So I got a lot of questions just really asking about why I'm in China because I don't I addressed it a little bit but not very deep into why I'm actually here in Shanghai so I'm in Shanghai for my dad's work he works for a company here 
And yeah, but we've always been a family to want to live outside of the state. So I feel that maybe even if without the opportunity we have because of uh, the business my father's working for, we still probably would have ended up outside of the States at some point, or at least I would have. But I'm just so grateful that I do have the opportunity to live here because of the fact that there's so many people, there's so many young teens that want to travel and want to live like this and just can't because they don't have the opportunities. So I just really want to take advantage of that. But yeah, I'm here in Shanghai for my dad's job and yeah. My dad also has a channel where he goes into a bunch of different stuff between books, travel, philosophy, he gets into a bunch of different things and a lot of stuff with Shanghai life. So if you want to see the perspective of another member of the Mass family, go check him out. And then people were asking about my visa and how that all works. I'm not sure what visa I'm on, to be honest with you. I just know when I turn 18 in August in a couple months, I will be having to apply for a student visa because I'm no longer a, a like legal child anymore. So I do have to apply for a student visa when I'm 18, which is coming up here. So that'll be a process. So I had some questions asking about where I am from, where from the States am I located? I'm from Sacramento, California. So yeah, California girl right here absolutely love it but I just don't think the small town lifestyle is for me I loved it while I was younger but I think oh my gosh there's a cat I don't think that lifestyle it has fulfilled me about to the age of 15 and then once I got to around 16 17 I started to kind of realize there's so much more to this world. Like I just, there's so much out there and I just want to see it all. And that's just, that's like one of the things that kind of gets me a little like excited for the future, but also scared is that there's so much out there and you're never going to see all of it. Like there is just so much. And yeah, like there's people that have been to every country on the like, Lexi Limitless has been to every single country in the world, but I bet like she hasn't been able to physically explore every single country because, you know, and I just want to be able to explore everywhere and just see a little bit of everything from a different view. So I got lots of suggestions about learning Chinese and the language and let's just say I've started that process. It's hard, I will say that. The language is very rigid, but I'm excited to learn it. And that's just gonna be another thing to add to my bucket list of learning how to do because I've, al I've always wanted to be the type of person who is very, is, is good enough at everything. You know, there's, there's certain people in this world that are just absolutely amazing at what they do. They're amazing at it. And that's like, if you are absolutely amazing at something, I wish I could do that. But I want to be one of those people who can, who can go surf next day. They're, they can play the harmonica. They know how to DJ. They can speak like five languages, decently good. But they're also, they, they love reading a book but they also know how to go have fun. Like, I just wanna be that person who can do a little bit of everything. I don't have to be amazing at it, but I know how to do it. And that's just what I've always wanted to be like, is just being good enough at everything rather than being amazing at one thing. I don't wanna put all my eggs in one basket, if I could say that. But yeah, Chinese is, learning Chinese is going pretty good right now. My teacher is amazing. Um, yeah, it's, Pretty good. I'm learning it in school and it's really nice because my class is super small. It's me and one other person. So I really get a lot of one on one time to just focus on it. Right now I've gotten as far as numbers and um, some just kind of like greeting words and it's not going to stop there. We, we got a lot of ways to go, but I'm excited to learn as much as possible. It is crazy to me how fast this channel grew. Like I would be happy if I was still making videos 
with five subscribers. 100% I would still be so happy to make these videos because that's what I'm passionate about. It doesn't matter how many subscribers there are, but the fact that people are, because I know I love my videos and I know I love creating because I just want to create, but to the fact that I know that other people are liking my videos enough to, you know, follow me along with it, that's really exciting. And I'm always looking for good suggestions. So I definitely have some more videos coming with some good stuff from suggested stuff that I've gotten. So if you guys ever have like any suggested videos or stuff you guys want me to go look at or try, always open for anything. I remember when I first started thinking about making videos when I was, cause I wanted to do, I wanted to do this for a while. And I said, I remember I was back in the US and I was like, should I start back up and make a YouTube channel? But I kind of was like, no, don't, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want people in at school finding these videos. And then I just never did it. And I'm kind of glad I waited because I feel like I did it at the perfect time in my life. But at the same time, I've r really learned from it now because I've learned that I just don't care about people's opinions about me. Um, I've always been a very free-spirited person when it comes to people's opinions um, because I know myself and I know who I am and I know that I am going to do what I want in a way that like, not like I'm gonna do whatever I want, but I know myself and I know that like, not everyone might like these videos and yeah, people at school might find these and might be a little like, what is she doing? I don't care. I love it. I'm having the best time ever. So yeah, I'm excited to keep going on with it, but I'm, it's going to be a lot with school because school is going to be really challenging, but I think I'm going to be able to get it all together. One thing I've been really excited for, but also really scared for is my future because that's always just been a uncharted territory for me. I've always known that I'm never gonna work a nine to five. Well, I mean, never say never. Life could take you anywhere, to be honest. But I've never, that has never appealed to me. And if you are working a nine to five and you love it, that is amazing for you. Not for me though, I've always wanted to be my own boss. I've always wanted to have my own freedom to do what I want, but I also have just I've just known I'm I'm a travel bug. I just I just want to travel and have fun. And I love writing. I love writing and I love documenting what I do. I've always had my phone in my hand or a camera in my hand since I was little. I was always taking photos or videos of my friends doing funny things or there's a beautiful sunset, let me take a photo of it. I was always documenting my life cuz I love having that on on memory because our memories yes they are always up here but you know they start to dwindle over time and I want to be able to look back in a couple years and say oh my gosh remember when I did that so these videos are really for me to just look back at my life and my thoughts because I like to talk a lot about what I'm doing and yeah so my future has been something that's really scared me, especially lately, because um, what's going on with school right now is I'm in year 12 of school, but my school goes up to year 13. Problem with that is because I'm coming in this year so late, I'm going to have to repeat it. There's no way around it. I'm going to have to repeat it. And it really sucks, it does. And it scared me so much at first because once again, I'm such a, I wanna get out of high school. I wanna get my life started. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. That I'm not just stopping and relaxing and thinking about the fact that like, hey, this might give you a one up in life. Yeah, you might have to be in high school for another year and that kind of sucks. But also one, I get to live in this beautiful city for another year, that's exciting. And two, I get, I'm going to be older, I'm going to be wiser, I'm going to have a little bit more knowledge about the world and maybe get to think more about where I want to go after this because like, I, I'm not going to know where I want to go next. That's what's hard too. I'm not going to know. So my future is really undecided, but I mean, hey, I'm a 17 year old girl. 
I'll figure it out eventually. It's just not going to be today. But what I do know about today is it's a beautiful day and I do want to get walking. So let's go on a stroll.